All right, on the next page uh, for graph number five, uh, so we have a little bit of a difference right here, but the procedure is actually the same thing. Like when you have x equals to three, what do we, what do we say when x is equal to negative three? We will replace all the x's with negative three. So we will say, all right, f of negative three is equal to, uh, no, the parentheses, absolute value of negative uh, three, minus one, okay? What is negative three minus one? That would be negative four. And what is the absolute value of negative four? It's four. So we have a point that is negative three comma four. Let's see, negative three comma four, okay? So we keep going, f of negative two. Again, we will replace the two, replace the x with the negative two. So you have absolute value of negative three right here, which ends up to be a three. So we have this, okay. And then I uh, need to uh, make some more space. So yeah, it might be a good idea to have a little piece of paper to, uh, to work it out, okay. If you need to, if you need space to show your work, all right. So, oh, I forgot to write down the three here. All right. So, f of negative one would be uh, negative one minus one, which is negative two absolute value, and absolute value of negative two is two. So negative one comma two right here, okay. And we keep going, f of zero, uh, zero minus one is negative one, and that would be just one, okay? And uh, and then we keep going, what's f of one? f of one, it's uh, uh, one minus one in the absolute value sign, that will be absolute value of zero, that will be zero, so zero right here. And then we keep going. Uh, uh, let me just go ahead and put the two right here. Uh, two minus one, it's one. Absolute value of one, it's one. So yeah, I'm running out of space. Uh, and then if I do uh, x equals to three, so uh, f of uh, three, it's uh, three minus, absolute value of three minus one which is absolute value of two, so that is two. So you can see the V shape, okay, right here. And we'll just go ahead and take a look. All right, so we'll draw the graph, connecting the dots and extending the line so that it reaches the edge of the graph. That's it, all right? So, and then we go ahead and answer a few questions. And we will say vertex is uh, one comma zero. Okay, that's a vertex right here. The, the little pointy part, the turning point, it's called a vertex. Slope, uh, just like the last page, it's still uh, one and uh, negative one. Okay, easily observable on the graph. Okay, uh, X intercept, well, happens to be the same point as the vertex. So um, one comma zero as well. What about the range? Well, the graph, it's going to cover all the parts from zero to uh, the Y value again, uh, going from zero all the way to infinity. So we'll say zero to infinity right here. And we do include zero because Y, y could be zero, just not anything less than zero, okay, for now now okay so um so that's um that's it okay um yeah let me go ahead and do the third one okay let's do the third one here um for graph number seven so again f of negative three it's uh, going to replace the x with uh, negative three so absolute value of what do we have negative three plus two is uh, negative one, so absolute value of negative one, it's one. So here we go, negative three comma one. So let's go ahead and put a dot right here. And then uh, absolute value of negative two, it's gonna be um, negative two minus uh, plus two. 
And then we have absolute value of zero. So uh, that would be just zero. There we go. Okay. F of negative one, it's equal to uh, negative one plus two. That would be um, negative one plus two, it's positive one. So just one. Okay. And then f of zero, f of zero is zero plus two, which is absolute value of two, that is two. Okay, oh, I forgot to write down the values. That would be a, okay, good thing to do. Uh, this one is right here, two is here, okay. And then uh, let's go ahead and put the one over here, I'm running out of space. So uh, absolute value of one plus two, it's uh, absolute value of three, so that's three. And I think you can see the V-shape coming up already um, on the graph. So you have a 2 right here. F of 2 is uh, absolute value of 2 plus 2, which is a 4. So um, so you have here, okay, that's 4, 2 comma 4, okay. And then absolute value of um, f of three, it's absolute value of three plus two, which is gonna be a five. So three comma five right here. So we can see the V-shaped graph very easily. Okay, so now the, um, so let me go ahead and uh, finish this first. Okay, so where's the vertex? The vertex is right here, okay? So what's the coordinate? That would be negative two comma zero, okay? Slope, it's still one and uh, negative one, okay? X-intercept uh, would be, well, it touches, the vertex is the point that touches the X-intercept, so, I mean, touches the X-axis, so they share the same point. And the range, it's going to be, well, this graph covers um, anything from y equal to 0 to y equals to infinity. So therefore, range would be 0 to infinity. Okay? 0 to infinity. All right. So again, very simple substitution. Uh, getting all the dots, okay? Plotting them, showing the V-shaped graph. That's all, okay? So uh, now... And let me also add a little moment of, uh, let me add a little bit of explanation here. Why are we doing this? Okay. Now, uh, a lot of people, they underestimated the importance of graphing. And, uh, and there are people, myself included, when I was in high school, I was not a fan of graphing. I found graphing stupid. And guess what? I was stupid. <laughs> um, so it's it's a good thing. Okay, knowing how to graph it's a good skill. Okay. Uh, it's a really solid skill. It's not that hard, but it does require exposure and it does require uh, practice. So um, so um, so the problem that uh, that some students would encounter is that they would look at a function and they freak out. And what I want to instill in your mind, okay, to, to cultivate a mindset is that as long as you have some X values, you can put some dots. A graph or the line right here, it's basically a collection of points. So if you have some X values, you can have the Y value or function value. So you have the dots for you, okay? You have the dots, then you would know the graph. Um, but a lot of students, they just feel like they are crippled. They they think they are very helpless. They look at the function, they're like, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to graph. And they would just do some random things. And I'm like, you don't need to, because at the minimum, at the minimum, you can come up with some X values and then just you know, find out the why, get the points. Okay, so so it's not that um, difficult. Okay, it's not that difficult. So today and also this weekend, I'm going to ask you to um, to finish all these graphs. 
Okay, so uh, I will put the answer key up as well uh, so that you can have a little bit of reference uh, to make sure that you're on a good track. And uh, But please do not just copy, that would hurt you. Okay, I don't want you to get hurt. So I'm putting it, I'm putting the solution, putting the answer key up there for you to check. Okay, just to, just to establish a little bit of a reassurance. But other than that, I don't want you to abuse it. Okay, so so uh, um, make sure you finish this uh, by the weekend. Okay, in class and over the weekend. The more you finish in class, the better it's going to be. Uh, do as a group. Okay, feel free to do it as a group. Okie doke. I uh, will hopefully see you on Monday. Okay.